it's going to suck. Hey everybody, welcome to Comic Book Club. I'm Justin. I am Pete. Uh, and we're coming to you from Justin's new crappy apartment. <laughs> That's Yeah. Uh, thank you, Pete. You're this welcome, is a buddy. window inside my life. Uh, there's some minor construction going on, so <laughs> look forward to that. Yeah. Uh, we have three comics to talk to you about today. Uh, Brightest Day number 24, The Mighty Thor number 1, and The Walking Dead number 84. Controversial issue. Very controversial. But let's start off with something that's not controversial. The brightest day. The brightest day. Or... Any day that I spend with Pete is one of my brightest days. <laughs> so it's hard for me to review this comic that's so uh, of the moment. So, um, brightest day, or as I like to call it, Earth Day comic. This comic is really just about, you know what, guys? We're trashing this place, all right? It's just in time for spring. Yeah, uh, the there's comic. great spring references, Earth Day. Give a hoot, don't pollute. Uh, that's nice, yeah. You know? uh, yeah, Swamp Thing's back. Uh, uh, there was one great moment in this comic, I thought. Oh, really? Uh, Dead Man and Dove, they have a nice, they had a little relationship. And yeah, for it, like two seconds, and then, you know. Well, they had a relationship and, in other issues, and then this was yeah. sort of a sad, uh, yeah. sad ending to it. Um, Finally, when you tell a girl you love her, you die. That's how it works, guys. Yo, Tone, I know it. And Ladies, turn <laughs> off your ears uh, for a second while we get real. <laughs> Girls are weird. Yeah, yeah. So, nice, now, yeah. ladies... I like how you blame women, dude. <laughs> Look at this lovely spectacle they that you live in. They can't see the rest of the apartment, so <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> it's the women's fault. Yeah, definitely, dude. <laughs> oh, that is hysterical. Oh, guys, uh, we could talk for hours about my <laughs> I love how you did this Oh, jeez. But anyway, So anyway, I found it a little weird at the end of this Swamp Thing kills us a, a boardroom of executives that are putting the environment. Well, what's great, though, is you're not safe from Swamp Thing. If you have plants, yeah. you're vulnerable. Yeah. So it kind of goes against the whole Earth Day feel. Uh, right. The comic. Well, or if you're a villain. If you're a hero and have plants, then everything's fine. That's, cool. That's why I don't have another living thing in this, in this part. <laughs> That's, uh, so. The last page reveal, uh, spoiler for a second here, because this is especially applicable to Pete, uh, John Constantine entering weird. the DC universe. Right. Weird. Uh, pretty weird. It's weird. I love uh, God, John Constantine or Vertigo. Uh, Hellblazer is an amazing comic. Peter Milligan's writing it. Doing an amazing job. you got to check this out. I'm nervous about my baby coming over here and them wrecking your it. baby Hellblazer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what your name you're gonna you're gonna name your actual baby as well. If I remember. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm a kid. Yeah, this new influx of Vertigo characters I think is pretty weird. Uh, I don't know if like the rest of the DC universe is gonna really use Swamp Thing and John Constantine, but I guess we'll see. Uh, yeah. Up next we have the Mighty Thor number one, uh, kicking off a summer of Thor. Can you hear us over a giant drill? Uh, kicking off a summer of Thor here in the Marvel Universe uh, with the movie coming out uh, in a few short days. Uh, what do you think of this first issue? We have uh, Thor going on a, a date with his girlfriend. Right. A swimming date. A swimming date into the abyss. Yeah. Um, well, some amazing art in this. Some of the creatures and some of the cool characters are really creative, very fun. Paints a really cool world that I very much enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, also, the glass... Galactus stuff and Silver Surfer stuff is awesome. I'm a huge fan. But uh, turns out Thor at the end of this has some problem with his junk. Yeah. If you uh, go swimming too deep. In weird water. In weird water <laughs> could affect your junk, guys. So That's your uh, Ladies, you still are you listening still? <laughs> because we're getting into some real guy stuff uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after his date where he fights a bunch of weird creatures, uh, this junk Thor, doesn't Thor work. and Sif are and this woman's in the bedroom. upset about Yeah, well, she's like, why are you <laughs> like, leaving me it? unwarmed? Yeah. Which is Asgardian for like, let's get busy. Hey! <laughs> wow, dude. Uh, yeah. And so, it's I'm, I'm a little nervous for Thor because, you know, if your junk doesn't work, it's tough to fight crime. You can't throw that hammer. <laughs> oh, if, wow. you can't, if you can't throw that hammer, <laughs> then you can't throw that hammer. Oh, man. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, I like this issue a lot. It's a nice uh, kicking off of the new series. Not that one. Uh, we are, I'm trying to move on. Okay, no. I'm so uh, We didn't trying. actually review the comic. You just talked about I, your I anxieties. I did review the about, comic. Uh, it's a nice starting point. Not a lot happens. A lot of uh, sort of foreboding. It's nice that the kid... It's child, a, issue one. Setting things no, it's up. Setting things up. Love Silver Surfer. I'm glad to see him back. Yeah. The child Loki character, uh, what's going on in um, the other Thor book, I think is so cool. So it's great to see him here. And he is sort of scary. He's intimidating for a kid. Uh, so definitely pick that up. Uh, and then moving on to The Walking Dead. Now, before we started the show, Pete was like, 
I'm not reading The Walking Dead, so That's we're right. not reviewing it. That's right. And as a journalist, uh, as journalist? you can see, as you can see, I was like, wow. I was like, we have to. We owe it to the people. Last issue, big revelation. Uh, the Walking Dead, everything was going poorly, and then Carl got shot in the face. It, so much so that his face, part of his face, came off. He wasn't shot. He was bit, right? No, no, he was shot. Oh. Anyways, it was very upsetting. Yeah. Very upsetting. And it was just like, and this, you know, I was like, all right, better be big things because I was so upset after the last issue. I was turning over tables and being like, how dare you, yeah. Kirkman, uh, tug at my heartstrings like this. But, you know, that's a sign of a good writer. Uh, <laughs> at the same time, though, it, I really did not want to pick up this book because I needed a little time off. I needed a little time to cool down. Jay Sizz here made me read it. Me. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things where I see what they're doing. Sometimes you have to go through hell before you can realize what, heaven. Uh, what like you're Thor. doing. You know. Thor was trying to do. Well, you know, and then he has this big revelation at the end, but it's like, really, dude? You know, the only thing you, uh, you can get your new lady killed and then your kid, and then you find out, oh, guys, I at home was here all along. All I had to do was click my heels three times. And home is here with my friends. True, but they, he also he clicked his heels and then like murdered a hundred zombies. That's how I do. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I thought this was a great action issue. I'm surprised. It was awesome but action. Because of all the emotions from last yeah, issue, we were, yeah, a, little, yeah, we were a, a little burned. Yeah. Um, everyone talks about The Walking Dead, like, when are we going to see some zombies being killed? Well, there's plenty of that in here. Um, Tons. And it's great. Tons. Uh, the art's fantastic yeah. uh, in this. Uh, Charlie Adelard really coming uh, coming through uh, for this emotionally charged arc. Um, I, don't, I like this comic, even though like that last the two page spread in issue eighty three was like terrifying. Yeah. I like he takes you there and he pushes through and like the book's called right. No Way Out, and there isn't guys. Really, <laughs> there's no way out. Wow, Pete just read a philosophy 101 textbook. Guys, so we're all going to die. So. so he's really, he didn't know that until now. So yeah. we've had a tough morning <laughs> just coming to terms with all that stuff. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, uh, we appreciate it. This is Comic Book Club. Um, we have a bunch more comics to review this week, so stay tuned. And you're ever in New York City on Tuesday, come see our live show, the People's Improv Theater. Uh, correct. Uh, and if you're ever in my apartment, I'm sorry.